What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, just a quick little reminder that this Sunday is the last day you can buy the merch and then it's gone. So this design will never be coming back. Uh, we got t-shirts like the one I'm wearing, singlets, hats, work shorts, uh, hoodies, camo hoodies, camo t-shirts. Uh, it's all linked down below and in the comments. So if you want to pick some up, this Sunday is the last day that you can grab some and then it gets turned off on the website and you can't go back. Big shout out to everyone who's already bought merch. It's The support has been incredible, um, well beyond my expectations. Um, so thank you to everyone. Hopefully we can get that stuff printed and out to you guys not too long after the Sunday. But you've absolutely smashed it, so that might actually mean it's going to take a little bit longer. But who knows? Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the merch update for you, so let's get into the video. guys welcome back to the vlog where oh, where are we we're still out in La Cola. <laughs> we're near La Cola. we're near La Cola. I'd call it La Cola. backed up yeah ready oh. to go doing some sightseeing today it's the middle of summer it is the middle of summer and it's freezing it's, it's, it's a maximum of 17 today it's welcome. very weird welcome to the high country it's very weird this I'm year. blaming Sam it rains every time Sam's come we're gonna duck into the cola go out of the cola to the high plains Back go, down. Go for a walk. And end up in Dargo, hopefully at the pub. So I skidded a long way. That was cars down there. The problem is the wheel's in the bush somewhere, which isn't too bad because it's got a spare. But the thing is, we don't have any spare wheel nuts. You're gonna have to try and find some wheel nuts on the ground. This is um, it's not a good situation to be in. We've got, I think we might have three spare on Adam's car, maybe, but I'm not sure. Depends on the Fred pattern. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go in and get, get in some wheel nuts from somewhere. We have one so far. I'm probably, Oh, I'm probably like almost 100 meters away from where it fell off. Hope we can find some more. We now have two wheel nuts. Any sign of the wheel? Nah, if I'm being honest, this wheel could be absolutely anywhere. And on the side of a big cliff. It's a bit hard to see where it's actually gone. So, it's a long way down. You got it? How far away are you? He's on the other side. Oh God. Dude, you're like 300 meters away from the road. So Adam, Adam's found his wheel, but it's about 300 meters from the road, but we'll be able to get it back up. Saying the wheels, the rim itself is stuffed from where the wheel nuts have come off, which is sort of half expected. So I have to get the, get the spare on. Anyway, but trying to get the wheel up here is gonna be hard. We might have to winch it up, I think. Yeah, so 
I think it's gonna be okay. Luckily for Adam, the leaf springs have come to an advantage. Jack it up, He'd knock a whole bunch of stuff out of it, try and hopefully this other, these wheel nuts off the spare wheel fit. Praying to God that that works. So if they're wrong in the stud pattern, we're in a bit of trouble. We'll figure it out. Moment of truth. Will it? Oh, yeah. oh yes. Yes. Adam, we're on. It's all gonna be okay. And I think it's, the only thing that's broken is the that stone guard thing. So I'll just bend that back and it should be fine. When you go touring. You go four wheel drive, nothing happens. Go touring, wheel four wheel. Touring is dangerous. Touring is dangerous business. Now I know why people spend so much money on 79s. <laughs> Mate, 79s have the same technology this thing has. I know. Literally the same car with a different engine in it. All right, the next problem is where the hell do we jack this thing up from? After the Otways, you should be a professional at this, shouldn't you? You can go off the chassis and just here. Yeah, that's probably better. No problem is. The flex Adam. I know it's gonna have to go really we're gonna have to prop it up with something and readjust. Yeah, it's a flex monster. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had this issue with the Otway. <laughs> yeah. It can't it'll come off the ground maybe, but then we still gotta get it off. We can dig a hole. Although the road very... the road is very hard. Go to the max tracks. Yes. This is scary. It's going up. We'll get some good height out of this one. I think it's good. It's okay. It's not gonna go any lower than what it was before. I reckon we did it. Well, go underneath the diff now. We're all good. Yeah, we should get underneath the diff now. Surely. So, just gotta flatten that out all the way. Fixed. It's gonna be okay, Adam. It's not fun. It's not fun, but it's gonna be okay. Going to the Mickey Thompson. Oh. oh. Bring on the punches. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. At least it's a pretty decent spare, that one. Thanks, Treadwork. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised someone was throwing that out. Like yeah, that's in good nick. It's actually in pretty good nick. It's pretty new. Oh, yeah. oh, it's... It ain't coming off. That is on, Adam. <laughs> Did you get a good shot of that? Yeah, they're... They're stuffed. They're oblong. Mm. At least we got the tire back. We did get the tire back, so... Because even though you're probably going to get new tyres soon, at least they're still they're still it's in good nick. Money. Yeah. And like, say if something really bad did happen, we, we could, could put the tyre back on somehow. So we're going to strap it on because we've used the nuts off the wheel carrier to put the wheel on. Look how far out the studs are. Pretty bad. There's like a whole stud out. That's been hanging on there for a long time. match with the collar. What's going on? Busy. It's super busy. A bit going on. But we are we're a fair bit behind schedule. Yeah the tires put us about two hours behind. Yeah, about two hours to fix the wheel so it took a long time to find it in the first place. Yeah. I'm absolutely amazed to find it. Decided that it came off, hit the wall, bounced over the top of my car and then went off the cliff. Well we're up on the hell at Highblade Roads as you can see or you can't. Like, it's not, it's not 
come up here to see views and do the walk and everything. And I literally can't even see 10 meters in front of the car. Very difficult to drive in. <laughs> Living for my four guys for a walk. <laughs> Alright, so we made it. How far are we going, Adam? 8Ks? Uh, an 8K loop walk. It is. It's cloudy. It's cold. It's cold. Got pies in the oven, though. I'm, ke I'm keen to get back. Sorry, we had to leave you. I'm sorry. So, we've just driven like three, three and a half hours come to the Dargo Pub. And because of the bloody bat virus, the coronavirus, we can't get in. Can't believe it. It's not their fault. Really banking on a pub. And ever since Adam's wheels fallen off, all Adam's wanted to do was go to the pub. So, we're gonna have to cheer Adam up now no pub tonight and it's getting dark just bumped into some dude in his 105 series that's come from canberra he's running 40 inch maxis razors on his cruiser come from canberra the thing looks giant almost it's sick but yeah that, that's my that's my good news story about, about the Nargo pub well this is camp for the night nothing too special it's so busy out here and there's nowhere to go and it's Oh, it's getting dark so i'm gonna guess it's nearly nine o'clock we just served the serenity from a chainsaw wow. people aren't happy Adam dragged I drove big... in dragging this behemoth <laughs> and he cuts two logs. Yeah, my chainsaw shut itself. So yeah, we're going to have a big fire and now I don't think we're going to have a big fire. We just really need something to cook on. So we thought we'd drop, tow a three metre log in. Yeah, but... We did just rock. But yeah. It was like hot. Man. It's not dark. It's like hot. Man. Anything's allowed before it's not dark. It's like hot. It's had to be done. Yeah. Oh. So, but yeah, no palmers. What's on the menu for tonight? No palmers. No palmers. That's all I know. I can tell you that. I don't even know. You don't know? I'm having stir fry. You're having stir fry? Mm. Oh, let's get the fire going. Can I just, oh. This is the world's best splitter. It is the world's best splitter. I struggled to do that one. Go on. I'm going to start this fire. How's that? Oh, the bounce. It just bounces. That means it's good wood though. If the wood is dead and it does that, that means it burns good in my opinion. Someone else has got a dog named Diesel. Really? Yep. That's handy. They're a little too. They're the they're the worst ones. They're the most vicious ones. Rubbish out now. The little ones are the vicious ones. Hey, there we go. I have explained that we couldn't get into the pub, and how it's not the pub's fault. It's not the pub's fault. It's not the pub's I'm fault. I'm just pissed off at everything. Yeah. I was like, Adam's had a rough day, so we drove three and a half hours to the pub and we couldn't even get in. You know how excited I was? <laughs> Sabah Palmer and his year at the pub. You couldn't even get in for a beer. Like, mate, he hasn't even been there. Yeah, it's just a disaster. We're bloody half locals, mate. And there's another one, I don't know what it's called, is it River Inn? Something. Called whatever the other... Yeah, you know, the restaurant's not open. Yeah, it's not open on a Monday. The busiest time of the year. Well, We've had a, a had a rough trot. It's been a rough day. It's been a very rough day. It's been very rough. I, got, I had to walk 8Ks for some oh, reason. <laughs> <laughs> it was my choice. Highlight of the day was seeing the 105 or 40 inch tires. Yeah, 100%. On it. <laughs> From Canberra. From Canberra. 40 inch tires. <laughs> Turin. 9 inch diff. Do you have a 9 inch diff? No, he said he's he's gone through 9 front diffs. Oh, he's gone through 9? Yeah. Wow. And he's just spent seven grand on diffs and he'll see how this goes and if it breaks he's gonna have to get something else made. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well situ situation update. It's about six o'clock. Um, just aired up this morning. 
just me and Sam woke up at like four. Axel's carrying on. He's something's bitten him or he's got fleas or something. It's not like an emergency, but I'm gonna go into Bright and see if we can get any flea tablets or go to the vet or something whenever they open. So I don't think anything's too bad, but yeah, prefer to be close to something rather than not close to something. So we're pretty much driven from Dargo to Hotham right now. So we've just hit the asphalt. But I'm pretty sure Adam Adam and Maddie are gonna go up blue rag and stuff. So enjoy all that. It's next morning, we've had a bit of a situation. I don't really know what happened because Sam woke me up and he said he's going into Bright because there's there's something wrong with the dogs. Thinking of doing blue rag, but um it might be too cloudy, I might not bother again. I mean, if you saw the last time up there, it absolutely sucked. He did like, kind of tell me that I was half asleep, so I don't really remember. I'll give him a buzz on the way there, but hopefully everything's all right. A lot's happened this trip. <laughs> um, I hope these dogs are all good. So yeah, let's go. Adam's cruising around on blue rag, driving down roads, just they go, ah, go away diesel. Driving down roads that um, lead towards a river, and it's not, it's not too bad, actually. We're gonna have to get changed and go for a swim, I reckon, it's pretty good. But the boys, as you can see, are much better, much happier boys, eh? You wouldn't even know. This morning, this one was crying, carrying on, rolling around everywhere, now look at him. It was definitely worth getting up early, getting to, got to Woolworths at seven. Wasn't too bad, the fog and the clouds driving over on the Alpine road was ridiculous. Like visibility was down to literally 10 meters. So it made the driving real slow. Gonna have some of that in the car. We're making a list of things we need to keep in the car this time. Flea and tick tablets. And we need spare wheel nuts, we've decided. We all need to keep spare wheel nuts in case the wheels fall off. Cause if the wheels fall off, you can't find the nuts. Nothing I would do will never click. So, Adam's, me and Adam are re reunited. Reunited. Yeah, we went to the pub. That was a letdown. Yeah. <laughs> We're not That's talking about it. We've had bad experiences in pubs. We're not having a good run. We've got a little bit of a plan tomorrow. Go on. Go on, swimming hole hunting. Swimming hole hunting. Swimming hole touring. Yeah, yeah. Bright's nice, insanely busy. Feel like yeah. we're, we're actually on a holiday right now. Yeah. Can't believe we went out for dinner. Like, Adam wore shoes. Shoes. And Sh not work pants. Right. I don't even have work pants, but I got I got boardies on. So I don't know that counts. Don't know what to tell you. I'm just in right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just cruising. <laughs> All right, Sam's fun fact. fun fact. I don't know if it's completely true, but there's many towns in Victoria and like all over Australia that planted trees to um remember the fallen soldiers from World War One and Two. Bacchus Marsh is one of my favourites. Have you guys been there? No. No. It's um the main like old country street that you walk down. All the big trees along it is all. On soldiers. I think it's really nice. But these were planted in what? 19... 1960. 1960. My mum was born in 1961, so they're pretty old. <laughs> Love you, <laughs> What about the other fun facts? What fun facts? Uh, the, other, uh, the last sign. Pardon? The, the last, last sign, sign? Is, is all 
Oh, yeah. no, Adam has fun facts about dredging. Yeah, but that's tomorrow. Oh, okay. Um, that's tomorrow's fun facts. Also, there's really big border collies around here. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. What's the them all? I can't remember. <laughs> you read the sign. Oh, oh are you talking about the gold rush? It's 1953 up here. Right is a mining town, if you didn't know that. Also, <laughs> if you try and do any history with Adam and Sam, they have no idea. Pretty fun facts for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, but like, you have to Google them. You, you, you have to read them off a sign. You didn't know when World War II and World War I was. Asian strangers fruit. Mm -hmm. Plums. <laughs> <laughs> So we had, had a bit of trouble finding a camp last night, but we found one, didn't film anything, but we've had coffee and bright this morning, and we've come to. I don't know how to say it, Trino? Trino? <laughs> Something, no, Trino Dredge Reserve. This one. That. That. That's where we are. That place. A boat sunk here. And guess how long said boat was? I don't know, Adam. Please tell me how long said boat was. 167 meters long. In the high country In rivers. In the high country rivers. 167 <laughs> meter long, nearly 5,000 ton boat. <laughs> sunk here. <laughs> yeah. It was 4,891 tons. Is that a picture of the boat? That's what a it diagram. Kind of what it looked like. It was a digging boat. Yeah. Yeah. But geez, where's the river that it's Well, there used to be well, a river, but it's not here anymore because they. We did. were part of the east branch of the river, but it yeah. pretty much like stopped the river. That's very like, impressive. That's full on. I'm very, that, I'm very here. impressed. There's no one here because we're early. It is early. We're, we're doing a day of swimming. This gets rather deep right here. It's, um, well, very stagnant. A 167 meter boat had to sink here at some point. Where's the like? Where's the hole that it came in from, though? Like, I don't really understand. I can understand it maybe sinking in this bit. Yeah, it did sink in this bit. Oh yeah, it sank in this bit. But like, where's the um? How'd they it's, get in? This is full of activities. This lake. These are danger man. I reckon it's gonna be really cold, and I wanna. I can't test how cold it is. That rope. This. That's a long way down, and that rope swing is huge. And there's the bike jumps on the other side. Dude, this thing's high as. Yeah, this stick's been here a long time. It's so smooth. It's a dedicated rope swing getting stick. It's had a lot of use. Look at that. <laughs> How did they get that up? That's a good effort to get that up there. No. <laughs> no, let it, let it swing back and then use the momentum to get it back up. So this one, I'll try, I'll try catch. If you're just swinging it like <laughs> out. Let it flow down. It's got some weight to it? I'm not helping at all. Oh, what this are you is, doing? This is the one. <laughs> there, go up. I'm stuck on the ground. <laughs> I don't even know. Wait, stop. You got it? Take the stick. I can't. Oh, that stick. Yes. <laughs> what a stick. <laughs> I actually haven't even gotten wet yet. Come on. Yeah, I know. Oh. 
Whoa. Come on, you do it then. Oh, you're all filming. We're waiting. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Snaps. <laughs> all right. See ya. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Adam. <laughs> Good morning. That's nice in here. Yeah? Yeah. It looks very clean when you're in it. It's definitely not dirty. Like that's. It's really nice. It must just be ridiculously deep. It looks like it just drew. You did? No. I don't think you could. It's... I'm looking at it and I can see like there's just a drop off here. Yeah, like I swam right up to the It's like not even cold, is it? Can you stand up where you are? <laughs> nope. Will they be able to get out down there? This is so deep. I can't stand up here. Yeah. Oh, there's a rock. And then you're like. I'm not much. I don't do rope swings really. That's a good one. But that looks. I can appreciate how good that is. That feels safer than the one at the Murray that we did. Yeah? yeah, that's really high though. You swing yeah, out the, so the one far. The Murray was so much bigger. Like you, you swing from a very. Oh, oh, can't even That's nice. So imagine hooking down there and just bloody boom. It's pretty cool ramp actually. Oh, it's pretty sketchy, actually. <laughs> I feel like it drops off really fast. I want some young Julian kids to come and do it for us. I'm going to video it. Get Darvis. Holding on to all the best things in life. I'll be pushing on through every second in the night. I'll be reaching out to every moment in the life. This is our second round. Add another pub. Add another pub. Second pub for the day. 12.38. It's called Happy Valley. Main ovens. Happy Valley Hotel ovens. So far, so good. It's plan Adam, where are we going now? After this. Uh, going to another swimming spot. Uh, what is it? Nemo? 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 I don't know. Something yeah. bridge. Reserve. Reserve. Oh. There's a swimming spot there. Go there. That's Nemo. where the plans end. We're going to camp somewhere. I don't even know where we are. Yeah, I know that. Because I made a funny joke on the way in because yeah. it's really hot here. Very hot in ovens. <laughs> uh, Classic fat boy meal. I'm just looking on the front of that and it said 217 videos. Yeah, there's a lot of videos. Wow. This actually looks pretty good. We there are some food. local dads that went to this parmesan. Yeah. And they said here. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get parmesan. They said that. Also, if you're a dad, <laughs> go, go to Bright. <laughs> that is, that is dead central. <laughs> How many days? Silo art. How long has it been since they've been updated? This has been a huge day. Yeah, well, that, we went swimming, which we didn't so film any of that happened. because there was people everywhere. I thought that might be a bit rude. But that was that was pretty cool. I don't know why it's a drum route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, we're meant to be going to Bundalong. Then got told we weren't allowed to go. Then we were meant to be going to Yarrawonga. That fell through, and then we we're meant to be. Now we're going to Trumbury, but we we're meant to be camping somewhere else tonight. But we were like, "Oh no, stuff it. We'll just go to Yarrawonga anyway." But now that's been canned. Mm. So, so we're meeting up with Tim. It's a big drive though. Yeah. I mean, especially when you're not prepared for it. Wasn't two. It was two and a half from where we were. So it's not. It's not too bad, but we've been. They were already driven like an hour. We and have it's been the, doing a lot of things today. And it's like, oh. Half past five. Some silo art. Today has been a long day. I forget that we even watched the sunrise this morning. Oh yeah. All right, we've been up for literally more hours than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. You're tired. I'm tired. But that's cool. That is. Silo art. That is cool. I don't even know where we are. We're literally just driving past, and I was like, oh, I can see silo with painting on it. I want to see that. So, there's a car, there's a guy at the front of the store, and there's another guy with a bag of stuff. And there's a horse on that one, but I can't, we're not walking over there. No, like the enter, enter beyond yeah, that there. point. That's the, whole, that's the whole point of coming to these, so you can take a photo of a car in front of it. No, you can't. I'm not tired, I don't even feel like KFC on the way there. Oh, I don't 
<laughs> all, all the all the females with us have objected to KFC tonight. <laughs> oh, I, can't I was like to Sam, I was like, guess what? We're going to a chica, we can go guess the KFC on the way and she was like, she's like no! No! Who <laughs> <laughs> no. you in? No. We're being quiet. Maddie also said no. What do you mean? But I believe there's two people driving the cars at the moment. What if we, what if we, what if we like snack at KFC? You never snack, but I Because I don't know about you, but I don't know where we are. I don't know how far we got to go, but I don't, I don't feel like cooking dinner tonight, Maddie. James. I don't know, we're in front of the pub. That another, might be St. Saint... another pub. The, uh, it's called Hotel St. James. But yeah. Yeah, that's that, the update. Don't really know. We're still going to Tarama. Don't really know what to say. But that's what's happened. It's been a long day. A long good day. That has been a long day. Long good day. Alright, well, the end of the video, filming wise, got all over the place. Yeah. And I'm sad to report. KFC was not bought. There was no KFC bought. Because we went, we went to it. Went through Barma. Went to the other side of the river. Which, which was, was a mistake. A mis <laughs> was a mistake. We spent one day on the other side of the river. Spent one day there, and a little bit of New Year's Eve. Yeah. And then, um, mm. yeah, they shut the border on us. Pretty much, it was a dilemma, because it was New Year's <laughs> Eve, and we'd all been drinking. So this camera is all over the place. I left my actual good lens at work. But luckily, someone had a breathalyzer, a breatho thingy, and we could see who could drive and who could yeah. not drive. And then, because everyone else was trying to get back through Echuca, Oh my god. We got there, we waited, I think it was 45 or 50 40, minutes. 45 and minutes. We like, moved three car lamps. Yeah, I managed to do, think, 20 meters in that. Yeah. The lollipop man came up to me because he could tell we're all in a line because we're all messing around because we're bored as. To be fair, I think he just thought we were causing a bit of a ruckus. So yeah. Like 40 better sense. Probably off. thought, probably yeah. thought that we were going to be a bit of trouble, but <laughs> yeah. we're playing like rock paper scissors out the window. We're trying to play rock paper scissors with him, but he yeah. wasn't. He wasn't having it. I think we had five or six cars in the convoy, so. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think it took us. He told us to go to Barmer instead, and we went there, and it took us about 10 minutes. Yeah. But <laughs> then after that, people, but we had people had to stay at camp because they couldn't drive yet, and they came through late and it was the same thing, had to wait for ages to get through. But I think the whole whole like, ordeal took us about three, three and a half hours to yeah. just literally get from one side of the river to the other. We ended up camping yeah. on the other side. And then we had a wonderful time. Yeah, it was great. Adam injured himself, oh, yeah, went tore, to hospital. I tore two muscles in my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> great. That is like a bit of the reasoning why the video has been a bit slow, but I'm back on it now. Yeah. Because doing that got me really sick and then I healed it and then I got sick again. Yeah. Um, it's just been a straight up bad time. And then yeah. we got smacked back into lockdown for a week. Yeah. For some reason. So here you go. And now we're back. <laughs> Obviously this is the first day back first day out of lockdown. lockdown. Well, I can come see my good old brother again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, a lot happened in that one. There's a lot going on in this few days. This is the whole trip in general. It was just so, so awesome to actually have some decent amount of time off work because you got the, the video before this one, plus this one, and then spending in like four days up at the up at the river. Mm. A really good, good time. It was good. So this video is a bit, a bit different to the normal ones because there's not really any, any full driving at all. There's a little bit at the start. Oh, I got the winch out. Yeah, you did get the winch out. <laughs> what are you wearing, mate? <laughs> I am sporting one of Living 404's finest OG merch. There you go. I'm just going to have it on you because it's not focusing on me anymore. <laughs> yeah. If you would like to purchase said shirt, you can go to said shop. And many other things. Yeah. It's linked down below and in the comments. But yeah, you literally have yep. to midnight Sunday. Yep. So, and then it's gone. So. And then that's it. And you can't buy it anymore. If your mate doesn't buy it, you can bag him about not having it. Yeah, exactly. I don't really have too much to say, apart from like for the rest of the trip, we were just in Turumbri, just having a good time with yeah. the Geelong boys and stuff. Learned how to wake surf. Mm. Turns out, always f judge people for wake surfing because our family's all skiers, so they see the big boats and we hate it. Wake surfing's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. It is pretty fun. I need, a, I need to get a big boat. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, that's it for Turin. Yeah. We've got a few full send videos coming up. Can canopy off. Canopy's yeah. coming off. Oh. Oh. There's a girl saying. Yes. She can wait. That's going to do for today's video. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you guys there. Cup of coffee on the car floor. What's more?